We're going to take a look at a special type of assignment statement. And this may look a little strange to you the first time you see it, but it turns out that this variation is actually very, very powerful and you will use it over and over again as part of your Python programming. As an example, to get started, let's go back to our grocery store problem and assume once again that we have gone and purchased 10 apples from the store. And so to represent that, we would create an assignment statement. Apples is a reference to the data object 10. And we know at that point that when we evaluate apples, we're going to get the value 10. And as we've done in the past, we can very easily create a picture representation by saying 10 is a data object and now apples is a name which is now going to refer to that data object. Now let's assume that somebody brings us another apple. One thing we could think about then is that we have the 10 apples we bought at the store plus the one that our friend brought us now we have 11 apples so we could represent that by simply having another assignment statement apples equals 11 but what really happened was that the number of apples increased by one and so if I wanted to write that as an expression I might simply say apples plus one the number of apples plus one more and of course if I evaluate that I get 11. Apples is a reference to 10. Add 1 gives me the data object 11 and the Python environment shows me the result of that evaluation. But here's the interesting part. Because I had 10 apples and now I've added one more I now have 11 apples and I'd like to be able to remember that I have 11 apples remember that apples is still referring to the data object 10 but we know that we can make that name refer to the new amount of apples by using an assignment statement so if we put those two pieces together we can write something like this apples will be a reference to the result of adding the number of apples that we have plus one. When I do that, just as before, it's an assignment statement. So nothing is returned, but remember what happens. We evaluate the right-hand side. Apples is 10. Add one gives me 11. And then the left-hand side name is made to refer. The strange part about this is that it's an assignment statement where the same name appears on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side that's what may look a little strange to you but it turns out that if I now look at the value of apples it has now changed to 11. In our picture of course what occurred was apples evaluates to 10 the data object 1 is added to 10 that gives us the data object 11 and then the left hand side name is made to refer to the new data object 11 and so the reference to 10 is removed and replaced with now a reference to the data object 11. Now what happens if we do that again? Apples equal apples plus 1. Again it's an assignment statement nothing is returned but of course the same functionality occurred and that is the right hand side apples evaluates to 11 add 1 gives me 12 and now on the left hand side that name is made to refer to the data object 12 and apples is now 12 and in our picture of course we have 11 add 1 we get the data object 12 and now the left hand side of the assignment statement is made to refer and now there are 12 apples and of course we could do this over and over again apples equals apples plus one 
apples equals apples plus one, apples equals apples plus one. And now, if we evaluate apples, how many should we have? 15. We had 12. We added 1. That gave us 13. We added 1. That gave us 14. We added 1. That gave us 15. This pattern of having the name on the left-hand side of the assignment statement and also occurring on the right-hand side of the assignment statement and modifying the value and then having the name refer to that new modified value is something that in computer science we call the accumulator pattern. The accumulator pattern simply means that we're going to take a value, modify it, and then let the same name refer to that new modified value. Now let's say one thing about this particular assignment statement. When you first look at that assignment statement and you see apples equal apples plus one, you have to be very careful to not think about that in mathematical terms. Because in mathematical terms, if we're thinking about equality, of course, apples cannot equal apples plus one because nothing can equal itself plus one. But remember that this is not equality, this is an assignment statement. And the function of the assignment statement is to evaluate the right-hand side and then let the name on the left-hand side refer to the result. And so, even though it may look a little strange at first, apples equals apples plus one is actually a very powerful construct to be able to continually add one to the value of a variable.